Cholesterol lowering drugs have not stopped heart attacks. We have more than ever. What can we do? Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, master herbalist and health and wellness instructor for 34 years, going to be 35 here shortly. Let's get everybody healthy. We have 1,200 videos here for you to watch and we can get you healthy. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Well, now we have more people having heart attacks than any other time. And people, you know, doctors have been prescribing statins and cholesterol lowering uh, drugs forever, uh, for years, and it hasn't done anything. So what can we do? Let's talk about this. You know, a lot of people think that statins are gonna lower your chances of having a heart attack to, you know, about 50% but the chances are actually about one in a hundred. That's not a good odd. Most people want to see at least a reduction in, of 30% in having a heart attack, but the actual you know, percentage is with statins is about 1%. It's not even worth taking. And the side effects of these drugs are terrible. You know, your diabetes and all kinds of different things. Most people, if they knew the side effects of these things, wouldn't take them in the, at all. So the reality is doctors are not tell, telling people the full truth about what these statins can, can do, and they're not doing anything. What can we do? Eat fruits, vegetables, grains, whole grains, uh, beans, lots of greens, and that will lower your cholesterol absolutely positively if you don't put in the cholesterol you won't have the cholesterol high and cause a lot of problems as far as having heart attacks and our we even have little kids having heart attacks now which is really not good this is an epidemic and lots of fiber as far as whole grains go and beans and fruits and vegetables help to lower your cholesterol which is a, a no-brainer it really does work. You can see some of the studies down below that I put down there. This has been going on for a long time. Way back in the uh, uh, 1990s, we were talking about this, and we even said back then, these things really don't make a change, the statins. So we need to wake up and start making some changes in our diet and lifestyle. Also, stress. You know, I worked at uh, a couple universities and one study we did was uh, to take macaques or, you know, big baboons and give them a very high cholesterol diet. And they didn't seem, if they weren't stressed, that their cholesterol didn't go up. But if they were stressed, their cholesterol went up like crazy. And so stress with the cortisol levels going up do make a big difference, absolutely positively. And everybody these days are, are some kind of stress. There's no doubt about that. And we really need to make a change in our lifestyle. Our lifestyle is terrible. I just put it flatly. Our lifestyles are terrible. And I was just talking to a man. He works nights. That increases his chances of having, you know, an early mortality or death by at least 15 years. This is not good. People need to start connecting with family, connecting with friends, having a huge amount of friends. I have a huge amount of friends and uh, I talk to them all the time. It's very, very, very important. And that connection, you know, ever since, you know, the virus went around, we started, you know, becoming a cocoon society, which is really not good. And we need to get out and volunteer, you know, go to a soup kitchen and help people get out and, you know, become a uh, some kind of volunteer for, you know, any kind of organization and join clubs and different things like that where you are connected to people. It helps a lot to prevent you from having a heart attack. Also, start journaling and have a gratitude journal. And that really helps also. It's really important to listen to music and de-stress with music. Something relaxing, you know, the Mozart effect. It is real, that's for sure. Also, it did a study with people in Sardinia, Italy, and they found that they had regular jobs who had a lot of physical exercise with them. And people who have jobs also in the Amish 
uh, communities where they have a lot of physical exercise, they have all had lower cholesterol levels and, or the cholesterol levels were normal, but they were not gonna have a heart attack because they were less stressed. They got out and worked and they have a huge community, which was very important. Also things like mindfulness and meditation. I do two hours of meditation every day and I've done eight hours of meditation in one day. That will change you forever. I have some millionaire friends. They do three hours of meditation every day. They didn't become millionaires uh, because, you know, uh, have millionaires didn't have the time to do meditation. They did the, the meditation, then became millionaires. So this is important. Yoga been around for the thousands of years. Meditation is part of that also. I have little kids that do uh, meditation every day. We can do this and it will help to bring down your cholesterol and bring down the stress in your body and you start to feel anew again. In that movie, Secrets of the, Live to Be 100, Secrets of the Blue Zone, there's a man with cancer. He lived in the United States and he decided to go back to the old country. He went back to the, some of the Greek Isles where he grew up and they put in some grapes. And he, he actually, years later, the doctor told him before, you got about six months. Well, he, he actually, years later, he's still alive and doing fantastic. We, our lifestyle in the United States is really not good. We got to go back to some basics. Well, I co covered a lot of territory there but it really is diet and lifestyle when it really gets right down to it. And there's no way to get around it. If you're gonna stop, you know, keep eating the fries and the burgers and, you know, the cheesy pizza and all that kind of stuff, I could pray for you. Uh, and also if you're stressing out, you have a, you know, you're working nights and your, you know, stress levels through the roof, you think you're gonna have a heart attack on a regular basis, I'll pray for you, but you gotta make some changes got to make some changes. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. I've had people with terrible prostate disease and we turned that around completely and kept them from having prostate cancer. You know, this is really not good. If your, you know, a PSA test is way up there, give me a call 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And also, if you have a huge amount of pain, remember that that is not a normal thing. And the more agitated we become, the more pain we have. So remember God and give it to God. And I've seen things change completely. People doing meditation and contemplation and all, and walking mindfully, pain starts to go away. I love you.